the sun reigns over a vast empire of worlds, all moving like clockwork. And wherever you happen to be, if there's a moon between you and the sun, there will be an eclipse. A rare event when a planet's moon blocks some of the light shining from the sun, casting a shadow on the planet. I think these are my favourite of all the pictures of eclipses in the solar system because these are pictures taken from the surface of Mars by the Opportunity rover looking up at the sun. And you can see Mars's moon Phobos as it makes its way across the disk of the sun. So this is a solar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse, from the surface of another world. The astronomers of the future will discover that these partial eclipses can never measure up to the ones back home. And that's because here on Earth, humans have the best seat in the solar system from which to enjoy the spectacle of a total eclipse of the sun. All thanks to a wonderful quirk of fate. Now the sun is 400 times the diameter of the moon, but by sheer coincidence, it's 400 times further away from the Earth. So when our moon passes in front of the sun, then it can completely obscure it. Now, there's something like between what, 145 and 167 moons in the solar system, depending on how you count them. But none of them produce such perfect eclipses as the Earth's moon. Oh, and you can see the moon. Can you see the moon on the, on the top? It just vanished. You can see the limb of the moon there. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs>